chilly outside this morning for where we live for sure good morning and um welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel brooke snook always learning So after I get my coffee and go upstairs and get settled down, I start reading the morning prayer or a devotional or something to get me ready for the day and to get my mind set on what's to come. Sometimes afterward, I might also read a book, a novel, uh, keeping up with my oldest son's literature, or I might read something a little bit more motivational and um, something to help me out with homeschool or anything that I've been wanting to read. This is the website where I go to read my morning prayer and uh, any devotionals that I might want to read um, in the morning before I get anything else started. Then I hop on over to my oldest son's computer and I make sure that he has everything squared away for the day. Um, I go into Homeschool Manager and reassign um, everything that needs to be assigned uh, if I haven't already done so. I try to get everything done on the weekend, but sometimes a few things have to be uh, modified. I very much enjoy my 5 a.m. wake up times just because I get so much done before everyone else in the house wakes up. Um, I wanted to say just kind of a quick disclaimer for the channel and everything. Um, there's a lot of controversial topics out there and it, it can get pretty heated. So I do, I mean, I will promise to, um, you know, steer clear of politics. That's a pretty good rule, steer clear of politics. Um, religion, I'm not going to tell you what religion to be. I might show you, you know, a little bit of my life and what I am, but you know, nothing uh, controversial about, um, anyone's belief system. I, I try to love all people and, and that's part of who I am. Um, but there is one controversial topic that you cannot get away from in the South. And um, so how about them dogs? Boys, who won the game last night? Uh, Georgia. Georgia won. Um, so congratulations to UGA. Of course, we live in Georgia. We have a lot of friends that are big Georgia fans. And we just want to say congratulations to the Georgia Bulldogs. And thank you, Alabama, for finally letting someone else beat you. And so he, um, my middle son is tidying up right now. And I am cleaning up the kitchen from breakfast because it's kind of a mad dash, you know, in the morning, uh, getting my youngest out to school on time and everything, sorry. Um, I've got the laundry in and I'm washing my heavy sheets and um, it absolutely makes my husband crazy when I don't shut the door and um, now I've got to kick stuff out of the way because there's heavy sheets on the floor. Um, <laughs> But I mean, this is life. This is real life. This is what we do. This is, you know, when you homeschool, you have to make things um, 
get clean as you go and, and clean up as you go or you end up with a pretty messy house. And sometimes that happens at the end of the day and then you gotta clean up at the end of the day. So um, we are just doing that and then we'll go upstairs and do some more work. Downstairs eating lunch, and my oldest comes up to me and says, I mean, eating lunch, lunch, like it's, what time is it? 12.25. It's 12.25. And he says, so my schedule said I'm supposed to end at 4.25 today. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's not too bad. He's like, well, actually, all I have left is to read, right? That's all you have left? Yeah. Yeah, read an hour for Lord of the Rings, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so all he has left to read, he's supposed to be getting done at 425 today. And he doesn't have study holiday. And he's almost done. So I have tried and tried and tried to challenge this child <laughs> And I think you will find this with certain kids that you put a ton on there. You look at their schedule. It's intimidating to me. Like, I think this would have been intimidating to me in college. But once they really get the hang of homeschool and start doing things independently, you'll start trying to challenge your kids and they'll come out laughing at you. So just know that it may seem like a lot, but it's okay to keep pushing and challenging them because even when you do, they will surprise you sometimes. And I I don't even know what to say right now because I really thought I had stumped him this semester and, and kept him working. But, uh, you know, some days he'll be working longer than he thinks he will. But uh, right now, um, all that being said, sometimes the schedule looks intimidating on paper. But in reality it may not be that bad for you or your student. Um, when they first look at it, they may complain and say, I'm going to be working until this time. And you just say, yeah, it's, you know, that that's part of it. We got to keep working and encouraging them and being positive. But still, they come out at 1225 and tell you all they have to do is read. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Homeschool is unpredictable, and, and what he's asked to do after he finishes is not go do something you know, like video games or anything. He has to go outside and play soccer. So, I mean, it's not, <laughs> that's a good thing too. He needs exercise. So, that's what they'll uh, probably do once we get everything wrapped up with my middle child. We're still getting uh, kicked off for our homeschool this year, and um, as I said, last week was kind of a soft start, especially for my oldest, and it's even a softer start for my middle school, not my middle schooler, my youngest, um, because I'm starting to implement some things that are online and on the computer, and we limit that for the most part for uh, younger kids. However, there are a lot of things changing in the world, and so I am trying to teach them things like how to use the computer um, and how to type and how to be effective and that and gain some computer skills. Um, my husband and I, when we were coming along and we still remember uh, our first personal computers um, and how huge they were. And um, I remember my first uh, game was Math Blaster, you know, besides solitaire, learning solitaire at I think it was like in first grade. So but I think, you know, remembering to type in C prompt at the beginning um, and like what all you had to type in. We have a unique perspective as computers were coming along and really into the home. And um, so we've seen all sides of it. And I think, you know, computers are here to stay. Uh, the Internet's here to stay. And I think teaching our kids how to use it wisely and how to use it responsibly and um, and setting that example while also maintaining a lot of control over it until they're ready to be able to um, do things on their own is uh, extremely critical to having computers around. So 
we were trying to ease that in and, and start at a young age so um, that our kids are able to be responsible and, and use things appropriately. And, and two, there's a lot of great jobs out there um, that they may be interested in and start to get the hang of um, early in life and recognize that they have a, a skill set that um, they may not have recognized had they not been exposed to it. So we do we do use computers in our homeschool. We don't stare at a screen all day, but we use computers in the homeschool. Um, we use about a, probably 50-50 mix with my oldest and um, still want him to, to use real books every now and then, though he does use a Kindle too. So, um, you know, we try to balance it out because we don't want to ruin their eyesight. We also don't want them to be uh, completely surprised later in life when they don't know how to uh, type or read or, you know, do things on the computer. So I think it's a good thing to get used to and, and we do implement it. Um, we want them to be able to come out of our homeschool knowing exactly what's going on and, and be able to get out into the world and know um, how to handle things as well or better than anybody else around. So uh, that's, I think, what we all want for our kids. It's our own, uh, it's, it's in us, you know, it's instinct. We want our kids to be better than ourselves, right? So that's what we're going to keep pushing for and keep teaching them and uh, keep driving forward. Uh, so right now I'm about to kind of teach um, my middle son, my second grader, um, how to use a Google Calendar and see what's coming up with his block schedule because we're starting to get him. We don't uh, expect him to take it off on his own and be completely independent yet, of course. Um, and we, of course, have a lot of controls on everything so that they can't just go wander around the internet uh, by themselves without some supervision. So um, we'll we'll get more into that and how to protect your kids on online uh, in the future. So um, stay tuned for for a video on that. Um So we're back in Carline again. Thank you for joining us for part of our homeschool day and hanging out with us and watching what we do every day. Um, actually not every day, things change. Things really change every single day and we make changes to accommodate that. But um, one thing to be said for my son finishing early, uh, he did have one class that I hadn't put on there yet because we didn't have the curriculum ready for this week. So um, he would have had a little bit more time, not much, less than an hour. <laughs> so, um, but you know, sometimes things go faster than you plan. We've had things go a lot slower than we plan and that happens and you just have to adjust and make it work for your family. Um, you know, if it, things go slower and you get to the end of the day and you haven't finished everything, then you can always continue the next day and just rework your, uh, rework your schedule. So, you know, it's up to you how fast or slow you want to take things. And sometimes, you know, other things happen and that's okay too. You just roll with it. And that's part of homeschool and just kind of the beauty of it. You can take things as slow or as fast as you want. Um, I would encourage you to be patient with your kids because things things are going to change. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment, uh, give us suggestions for anything else you want to see. If you want to see more videos like this or anything else, um, please share for anyone who might be interested in watching our homeschool day and uh, be interested in how things go especially with multiple kids um, but please don't forget to like and subscribe and share and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and y'all take care